So I decided to hang out at Chitre Monastery. No, nobody speaks English here, and Dorothy and I don't speak a word of Tibetan, so we use mostly sign language uh, and a few words of Nepali and Hindi that we know in common, like no must stay. Uh, uh, a friendly young monk and a teacher to the young monks, Nawan Chotak, um, I approach him and I communicate with him that I wish to become a monk. He smiles, giggles, <laughs> and thinks this is a great idea, right? So uh, the next day, now on a Chotak uh, initiates me. I read long passages in Tibetan, which I have no idea what it means. Uh, and uh, he guides me up to my new sleeping place. I guess since I'm a monk, I shouldn't be sharing a room with Dorothy anymore. Up in the attic, uh, up a steep a ladder and into the attic. The attic is so oh, about 20 feet square and uh, it, there's eight or nine of us monks up there head to toe on straw uh, burlap covered pads for beds and uh, I find out that this monastery teaches Buddhist monks from Sikkim, Bhutan, and refugees from Nepal. And the boys, oh, yeah, they're delighted to have an American monk, you know, behind the scenes with them in their living quarters. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably the oldest at 21. Starts out at about 13 youngest. Uh, and to break the ice, a welcoming monk gives me Hamlet in English by William Shakespeare. Wow. And uh, a little later, Dorothy gives me Milarepa, a book about Tibet's singing yogi in English. So I have these two books, Divine Nourishment, in this extremely isolated situation. When I feel like being in pure nature and away from uh, the monastery, I walk a few kilometers west towards Kathmandu, always bringing my Indian bamboo flute. <laughs> and on the faraway hillsides, I blow my soul out. <sighs> you know, like uh, five octave jazz riffs, uh, a jazzy earth signal to the cosmos. Uh, what I love about playing the flute is as soon as I start playing, my mind shuts off. Very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Mental focus kicks back in extremely sharply after blasting off on my flute. Well, uh, once I take my vows as a monk, uh, I find myself getting intensely curious about my own history of 21 years on planet Earth. I don't know why, but my spirit uh, finds it essential that I review my entire life, starting at birth, even prenatal uh, images, working forward. So I become proficient at reviewing, re-witnessing my past behavior in three dimensions, full color, meditations, uh, kind of like kicking back in a movie theater with the lights all out and uh, reviewing the significant twists and turns in my rather brief life. Well, a prenatal dream, an example. I vividly remember the feeling of this recurring dream within my mother's womb. These two oppose, opposing uh, clouds of atoms, swirling atoms in dark colors, drift closer, becoming more intense, the more uh, integrated, they become uh, until uh, bang, <laughs> yeah, uh, one tremendous tension releasing reflection. Feel so relieved, calm, sweet atmosphere, like after a thunderstorm. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, that's an example of a prenatal dream. Let's fast forward the movie uh, a little bit. Um, traumatic ad adolescent experience. My best friend Guy and I had made this sacred to us clubhouse of scavenged wood uh, in Bay City, Michigan, along the 
Great Lakes. And one day I show up, and who's in the middle of our clubhouse? Ah! The neighborhood bully. Mm. I'm so pissed off at this takeover of our shack, our clubhouse. Yet I'm also afraid to kick the bully out. What do I do? Acquiesce. Just go along with the takeover. And ever since then, there's been this unresolved knot in my spirit when it comes to defending my turf, especially my shelter. Uh, I replay this traumatic scene over and over. Uh, until I accept myself for both uh, my lack of self-assertion and my uh, instinctive survival skill. Didn't get beat up by the bully. Mm -hmm. And that's when this old knot and every possible metaphorical vibration of this knot uh, becomes untied. I complete my life review, reacting out metamorphosis uh, from an innocent photojournalism student <laughs> in New York to a dropout hippie living like a Zada in India mm -hmm. to right now being a monk right here in this monastery breathing my most current breath in my last heartbeat